They have testimonies that we would like to read out this morning. And um, this is an undisclosed name. Um, good afternoon, sir and ma. I want to appreciate God for canceling a long death which runs in six zeros. And this came last week after a testimony was shared in regards after a testimony was shared in regards to financial turnaround. The senior pastor said if there was any testimony given that is in line with our expectation, we should believe it's done. That same week, the debt was cancelled and I have returned to give glory to God and I believe God for more financial favor. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. More coming. Rose T, thank you, sir, for your quick attention that came. An asthmatic ailment in a 13-year-old child who was not responding to treatment. I sent a message on behalf of the child and you sent a powerful word, divine intervention in Jesus' name, which gave instant peace and the child was discharged from the hospital mm. that same day. Hallelujah. That same day. Hallelujah. And it's very strong now to the glory of God. Thank you for the great battle you are fighting on our behalf. God continue to protect you and your family, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nene from Abuja says, praise God. On Monday, the 27th of April, when Dr. Mrs. Um, Enenche read a similar case like mine and how the person was healed of pains, I placed my hands on the television as the senior pastor was declaring healing on the people that had similar cases. I woke up this morning, lo and behold, all the pains, both the chest and the back aches have all gone. And last night I slept like a baby, what I have not enjoyed for the past three weeks. Thank God for healing me, and I know it's permanent in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Grace from Imo State says, Good day, Sam Ma. I want to thank God for healing my son that is four years now of an infection that had lasted for four months. I have um, administered different types of drugs, both oral and injection. So as I was listening to you during the Good Friday service, during the communion, I used water and I gave to my son, believing God that it has gone. Glory to God. I searched for the symptoms and couldn't see it again. I couldn't see it again, oh, no more itching. It's really working for me here, oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Good morning, sir and Mike from Abuja. Glory to God. I'm speechless at this moment. God has just proved himself mighty in my life. On Wednesday, 29th, um, 2020, April, I was standing on a sock away pit that collapsed. The way God saved me from landing into the sock away pit is still a mystery to me. I only had scratches on my legs, which was hurting. I want to appreciate God for his love towards me to him. That was death that came for him. You will not die before your time. Amen. Every trap set for you by the Amen. enemy, Amen. that trap will catch anyone who set Amen. it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mrs. Franca from Abuja, good afternoon, sir. I sent a message last week, Tuesday, in respect of my nephew who fell ill and could not walk after the treatment. I got a, 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 got a reply written, divine intervention. I called them on Saturday and I was told that he can now stand and walk. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the praise Amen. in Jesus' name. A testimony from New York City. Pastor, I want to first of all thank you for praying for my sister who had the COVID-19 a few weeks ago. I'm glad to let you know that she's now healed. Thank you, Pastor. And may the Lord continue to use and bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. Amen. Testimony from Canada says, Daddy, good morning, sir. I want to appreciate God Almighty for the testimony he gave me and my family. I sent a text message to you, sir, that my wife, who was one of the frontline health workers fighting this pandemic, tested positive for COVID-19 in Canada. But thank God that today she was tested negative of the COVID-19 after an encounter with the wow. senior pastor in the dream of the night. Wow. Glory be to encounter God. Encounter in the dream of the night, dealing with COVID-19. Encounter in the dream of the night. I prophesy to you today, a divine encounter, a divine encounter will change your story. Amen. A divine encounter will change your story. Amen. A divine encounter will change your story. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So shall it be. Amen. Testimony from Lagos on this close. Good is and ma. And praise the Lord, church. I want to appreciate God for his goodness and also thank the senior pastor and Dr. Mr. Nanger for making themselves available for God to use. I want to thank God for delivering me from COVID-19. It first started with weakness on my legs, feverish condition, and later escalated to the chest. 
with a severe pain and hotness down to the sto stomach. I was unable to breathe and sleep as my truth was compressed. I went to the hospital and was treated of malaria, but all to no avail. So I made up my mind to report myself to NCDC. Report himself. <laughs> on Monday 27th, but after the communion and anointing service on Sunday 26th, which the senior pastor all, all also prayed on the anointing oil, I took a shot of it, anointed myself and the family. So that night was my night of healing. I slept and woke up around 2 a.m. and couldn't feel any pain, hotness or symptoms of COVID-19 all gone from that day till eternity. I thank God for giving me a 3D shift testimony to God be all the praise. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. And now we agree that as God is healing individuals, he will now heal our cities. Yes of COVID-19. He will heal our nation, Nigeria, nation of Ghana, America. He will heal the nations of the world. Heal our generation of this affliction. The Bible says, surely there is an end and our expectation shall not be cut short. We declare an end to these afflictions. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.